Hi DJ, I hope you're doing great. My name is Kaysam and welcome to this video in which I have decided to call the Big BPM project. Now in this video, I have decided to show you how to jump between big BPMs but gradually without the crowd having to notice what's going on. But before we get started, I want to shout out to DJ Flow, like Flow DJ from Sierra Leone is always there for me and any of you who does the same will always be shouted out too. So please let's get started. I call some of these videos projects because they most especially look at customization in virtual DJ. Now in this video, like I said before, it's going to help you change the BPM of songs gradually, maybe like with one click. I have decided to create pads to do that for you and already there is something like that. Now this is what it's going to look like. You already know maybe like if you want to reset this slider to zero and if you click on pitch reset right here, it's going to gradually go back to that. Now we are going to use that to either gradually increase BPM or decrease BPM of a song. And better yet, we are also going to do that maybe like on both decks. Like for example, you're going to have to do it on one deck only or you can do it for both decks. Now this is what I actually mean. I have created these pads here that I've decided to call big BPM. I want you to keep your eyes on these BPMs on both decks as I'm explaining. If you click on this single plus, it is going to only increase the BPM of this deck one gradually and slowly. And then single minus, which is below it, is going to gradually subtract it, but it's only for one deck. Now this one here is to exit the process. It's going to stop at where the BPM really is. And we can also reset, right? So do for both decks, you're going to click on multiplus. Now, if you check on both decks, you're going to see that both BPMs are increasing gradually. I am not playing any sound here because of copyright, but I'm going to leave a video on my Telegram channel or I'm going to post another video on YouTube, which is going to have samples of what exactly go is going on here. So as you can see, that is gradually going to change the BPM and it's matching automatically for both decks. That is something very nice. Now you can again exit at any point that you want by clicking here so you can start playing from right there. Now, let me just explain all these parts briefly and then I take you to the use cases of these parts. Now, this one here, like I said before, it does for only, it does increase BPM for only one side and it's going to pick up from where the slider really is. I'm calling it BPM, but it's actually pitch, right? It's going to be pitch because if you, have, if you don't have the pitch lock, I mean, or master, master tempo, anything like that, it's going to change the pitch as well. But I'm focusing on the BPM side of it. So it's going to change only for one side. And if you click on single minus, it is going to start taking it backwards, but for only one side. So you can stop at any point, like I said, by pressing exit or by clicking exit rather. It's going to stop there at 144, but that happens on only one deck. If you want to increase for both decks, you can click this and it's going to start from any point. Now this is it. This is at 144, this is at 132. If you click on this multiplus, it's going to start increasing this slowly and it's going to match this one to the deck A. Let's do it and see. All right, so now you see they are matching and they are moving at the same pace. And you can also subtract for both of them at any point. If you, ac accidentally, if you accidentally click on anything that you don't want here, you can always exit. And then to reset here, there are RST buttons or pads. They are meant to reset. There is RST single and RST multi. RST single here tells you that you want to reset the BPM for only one deck. You want to reset the pitch or BPM. I really call this BPM a lot, but I really know it is pitch. But like I said, I'm focusing on the BPM. And then if you do for both, it's going to reset all of them. So please, that is it. Now, for the use cases, you can use them to jump between BPMs, of course, gradually, like from higher to lower or from lower to higher for both decks, maybe without having to struggle with the sync or beat matching or stuff like that. But also the crowd doesn't have to recognize that something is changing. And then another very good part of it is that it's going to help you, like maybe when you want to mash up the stems, like, for example, we have this other part right here, which says mash up. Now what this does is I want you to, to focus on these stem pads here. Let me also put stems on this side. I'm going to just explain this, but then I will have a sample video on Telegram 
having this right in. Please don't fail to check out. So what this does, for example, is I have two different tracks on deck A and deck B. Now, if I have only the acapella on here and I want to use the other deck to give me only instrumentals, make sure I already have this on. I can only come to this big BPM and say mashup. When I click on mashup here, this one is going to be activated. The, the acapella on the other side is going to be deactivated. And that is just how it works. So that means this side will be for vocals only and this side will have the instrumental only. You can do the same for the other side, but if you click this again, it's going to remove that from that side. It's going to let the other track come back to life. And this side here, you will still remain with the acapella, which you can later remove by yourself because also you put by yourself before. You can do the same from the other side. If you already this side here and you have the acapella on and you want an instrumental from the other side, you can now click on mashup from any side, by the way, from any side. Let's say like here and then you do mashup. It's going to turn on the instrumental from that side and you will remain with the acapella or vocals playing on this side. But they are tied together. So if you click on, for example, like this multi, both of these tracks are still going to increase together. You won't lose sync of any of them. Not that you have vocals on that side. Please take that note. And you have instrumentals playing on this side. And then you're increasing the BPM. They are going to match together. There's nothing that is going to fall out of hand. I want you to try that for yourself. There it is. I hope you really get this. I hope this gives you some tip. Once again, I'm going to post a video showing you what it is. But due to copyright, I didn't have to play anything here. But this is a really nice one if you do practice. This before you take this to your mixes, before you take this to your gigs, do a lot of practice on some of these. And if there's any question you want to ask about it, please leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you like the video and then follow me on Telegram. There is a lot more coming. Also subscribe and then turn on that notification bell and tell me what you feel. Thank you.